Howdy. Uh, hey, it's been a little bit. I want to just give you a little update on what I've been working on. So I'm still doing the X Live background thing, trying to get live backgrounds to work specifically with a fluid dynamic simulation. So, okay, let me just show you. What I didn't realize before, let me, what I didn't realize before is that there have been some recent developments on um, uh, XLive background. So the last commit to this was about three months ago, right? And I see people on the issues and stuff. Uh, okay, so it's a decent while ago, but uh, the the last time I cloned this repository, it was. Um, outdated compared to what it is now. So I, I cloned it again and uh, things work. I guess the somebody else, the original um, developer here, I think what he did was he, he made the changes that I made on my end, which is uh, uh, updating the API calls and that sort of thing. So I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I'm not certain on it. But what I have been doing is... Um, is a similar learning some fluid dynamics and stuff just so I can make this work as well as um, ironing out the bugs of the program that I have right now which is uh, right now it's called fluid it, it's kind of like a fluid but it's not what I'm going for in the end so I could just show you this here this is the draw function uh, you get the screen you know, I kind of showed this to you already uh, double for loop iterate over all the pixels on the screen every this is set to like 10. So every 10th pixel, draw a pixel, uh, draw a dot to the screen. Or actually just put it in a, an array and make the position of it uh, repulsed. Move it like an inverse distance away from, uh, you know, the distance to the mouse, make it away from that inversely proportional to that distance. Uh, does that make sense? <laughs> I could just show you. So you can see here, I'll make it a bit slower. I have a bunch of, and I'll also make the size bigger. I have a bunch of defs up here. So you can see here, it's moving to the side and the dots are sort of repulsed by the position of the mouse. And that's pretty cool. I had a couple bugs with this. The first bug uh, was that I was allocating too many points, so it was like <coughs> double drawing to the screen and it sucked and I couldn't figure out why, but I eventually did after a bunch of troubleshooting. And another thing that I can't really show you on this setup here because I'm only streaming one, I'm only recording one monitor. but. There was something important about X Live Background that I didn't realize before, and I will get into that right now. So, uh, make file.in. There is a flag somewhere. Yeah, it's in the make file. This flag right here, one of these two flags, I think it's this one right here. This is set to true if you have X Randar on your system, and if you do have X Randar on your system, uh, it will detect your outputs. So if you have XRandar on your system, detect the outputs. And what that does is it says, once you detect the outputs, it's like you have this screen here and you have this screen here. And that's great. And we can do the plugin for both of these screens, but that's not what I want for this plugin. As you can see here, I, I wouldn't want this mirrored. I wouldn't want this simply mirrored from one screen to another. I would like this to be seamless across both, both of my displays. So when this, when this uh, flag isn't called and get outputs, detect outputs isn't called, then it just treats whatever screen real estate it has. It, it probably just gets the maximum uh, sum of the widths and the ma maximum height. Uh, and it uses that instead. So it's like you have one big screen instead of two separate screens. And what that means is that uh, it can pretty seamlessly, seamlessly work across both screens because it's acting as if it as if it has one screen. Am I making sense? I hope so. So uh, 
I can imagine for some plugins you would actually want to have this flag set uh, unset so that um, your simulations and graphics and stuff that are interactive can actually be um, seamless across both displays. So that's what I've been working on. Fluid dynamics is hard. Um, partial differential equations and stuff um, I never studied in school, so I'm I'm learning about it now, and I'm I'm hoping that I can get pretty far with this. I, I want to like actually make this a, a finished plugin. This plugin right now, I've, I've sort of like touched up and it's finalized and I don't think there are any errors with it. I'd need to do some testing on it. I don't know if I'll actually get to doing that, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out because it, it genuinely does look like a, a fluid in some way, you know, anyway. That's what I got. Okay, see ya.